Dr. Roy, good morning. Good morning, Logan. How are you? I'm well. Thanks for coming back on the line. My pleasure. It was fun last time. It was. Right before we hit record, we were talking about in our last conversation how we explored your origin story, not just as a leader in the business realm, but also for the company, for Dr. Studio as a whole, how you built the organization and grew it to where it is today. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think when we left that conversation, we felt like there was a, a flag in the sand from the histor the historical journey that brought you up to where you are today. And we said, in the next talk, let's have an emphasis on the current state of the business, of you as an individual business leader, and then even explore what comes next. Sounds good to me. There's a lot of moving parts. Indeed. There's, a, 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 there's multiple levels of elevation I think we could explore just on the current state. But I'll be, without assuming I know the right one to start with, I'll just frame up a pretty broad question, which is, where are we today? So we are in an expansion phase. Dr. Studio is expanding. We are moving into additional locations. We have a very aggressive plan, if, if you will. Um, we've worked the last many years, uh, 15 years, to create a model that can scale. It's incredibly difficult in a functional medicine practice to scale because it's an art. You know, when you, when you practice medicine in general, it's an art. When you're not following a recipe book and you are thinking outside the box and you're treating people and meeting them where they are, uh, it's really hard to teach that. And so what we've done over the last many years is create an integrated system. And believe it or not, there's no systems in medicine that support this type of, um, customized care, this type of personalized medicine. You know, when you're in the insurance medicine business, if you will, people call you because you take their insurance. They walk through the door and you treat them and you follow the process. And there's a very clearly defined process in, in that world. In my world, in functional medicine, as a physician entrepreneur, um, is really has been up to me to figure out how do you let people know where you are and what you do and how it is what you do might positively affect them. It might be what they need. Well, you have to advertise, you have to market. Um, and you certainly didn't learn that in medical school. Um, and there's just so much noise out there that it's, it's really tricky to tell a quality story about how your body actually works and how whatever it is that you're experiencing is due to an imbalance or some obstacle that needs to be overcome. That's a hard story to tell when, you know, I was watching the news last night, uh, which I'm not sure why I was watching the news last night. It's not something I should do often, but I was struck within one break, okay, within one break, there were five commercials and every single one of them were from the pharmaceutical company okay now i notice these things i think a lot of people do notice these things but uh, if you're not paying attention you don't realize who is controlling you and so we're being barraged by these messages of uh you know a, a ill one pill for every ill right one magic injection one you know whatever and so it's very challenging as a small medical practice to cut through that noise and connect with people and help them understand, hey, you don't need that pharmaceutical company. You don't need those five pharmaceutical companies that just spent uh, hundreds of millions of dollars mm -hmm. trying to convince you of how wonderful your life will be if you take their medication. What you need to do is understand your body and uh, identify what is necessary to support your optimal function, right? It's a hard story to tell, especially when people are used to 30 second sound bites, you know? Uh, so if I throw something up on Facebook um, saying, 
and and the the ad is um you know lose 50 pounds in 90 days or less without having to give up your favorite foods go to the gym you know, i can tell you all kinds of horseshit and you wouldn't believe how many people are going to respond to that ad you know now we're talking about a weekly injection that sure you're going to lose weight but you're also going to lose your wellness and that's happening all over the place unless you really understand what got you there to begin with right so hmm. these pharmaceutical uh, drugs peptides supplements all tools amazing tools don't want to exclude any of them but when used in a holistic way when applied to you as a personal as a precision personalized medical approach um, in conjunction with changing your diet changing your lifestyle change you know understanding really what's happening to you and how your body is responding they're all fabulous so i'm not here to uh, downplay the benefit of any of those things what i'm saying is wellness is a process that never ends it's every day you it is a uh, uh, really an, an understanding what's necessary for optimal function and it doesn't happen in a 30 second sound bite or it's not on your list of medical providers from your insurance company right there's a dichotomy in a uh, complete dichotomy in the type of service that you will get when you interact and engage with a doctor studio versus a a uh, insurance based practice and so that's a very challenging message to to get through all that to say we have figured out how to attract people to this type of medicine um, and we're blessed by uh, really doing this well we, we really know how to help people get to their wellness goals and I figured out how to help practitioners learn this approach so that we can scale up, we can expand into other locations. Incredibly, incredibly difficult nut to crack. Now, so not only is it attracting people to the message help, or to the, uh, to the practice, helping them understand what we have to offer, but then it's onboarding them in a way that they're used to, right? Uh, you know, people just want to press buttons and have the delivery truck come to their doorstep uh, within 10 minutes. That's the culture that we, we're used to, and, and, and I'm guilty. I, I want that kind of immediate thing. So it's really challenging. There's no system in medicine where you just install that software, and then all of a sudden you're, an, you're a customer service machine. Uh, it doesn't exist because every piece of software is really built for an insurance based practice it's not built for that customer service it's not built for marketing attracting you and then onboarding you and interacting with you in a way that you're accustomed to or that you want mm -hmm. so we've had to build that um and and you know and then build a system that supports your journey so that this mm -hmm. is a pleasant journey so that we're educating you along the way so that we're supporting you so that we're anticipating some of your challenges so we can get you to your goal right it's a it's an incredibly challenging thing if um for you as a as a patient it's incredibly challenging to change your lifestyle and to you know engage in this type of out-of-the-box thinking where you're not just taking a pill and your whole and everything is solved where you have to be a participant I believe that most people want to be participants in their wellness. Um, they don't know that they can. And if they do decide to be a participant quite frequently, there's so many obstacles. There's so much information out there that's contradictory. Doesn't mean any of it's wrong. It just means that it may not be right for you, right? I mean, we're individuals. We need a precision medicine approach. We need a, a customized program. And the only way to get a customized program is to have someone like me and my team uh, inquire about who you are, right? We're going to get some labs. We're going to ask you a bunch of questions. I'm not going to get the same labs that your primary care doctor gets 
or that your gastroenterologist gets or that your rheumatologist gets or, you know, your cardiologist gets, we're going to get something different because we're literally trying to understand who you are and how best to support you versus what pill am I going to give you? What procedure am I going to do to open up your blood vessels, right? Only so that they can get clogged again or different vessels can get clogged again because the problem was never fixed to begin with, right? We're literally trying to identify the imbalance or imbalances, reverse those and throw in uh, nutrients and the things that your body needs to right itself so that it can work optimally. And so it, there's no recipe book for that, right? So it's a process that we take you through that we know we need to make as easy as possible. We need to try to just obliterate those barriers. And so I've worked the last 15 years to figure out how to do that. Now, thank goodness, the new technologies that are uh, being available to us as a smaller business are advancing very rapidly. And that's helping Dr. Studio connect and find that right and perfect person who's going to benefit from the care that we provide. So we've built a system. We've built an integrated system. We've built onboarding. We've built this support for our clients. And now, as a result of that, we're able to expand. So we're in an expansion phase. We're opening our second location. We uh, will be seeing clients in that second location after the, right after the first of the year. And then I intend to open the third and the fourth in 2024. The second one's the hardest because you have to make sure you've got everything dialed in, right? You know how to attract the right team to serve the right clients, right? So it's, it's, it's like, it's two different, um, funnels, if you will, from using a marketing term, right? You're trying to find the right client. Somebody who's really going to benefit. They have a problem they need to solve that we're great at solving. That's that marketing. But then you have to find the right team, right? Not all practitioners have this mindset. Not all practitioners understand customer service, right? Most practitioners don't practice this type of functional, regenerative, root cause type medicine. So you have to attract the right people and then train them. And so it's a, it's a, it's a really big challenge. So to open that second location, you have to have all that dialed in, not only the marketing, but the recruiting and the training and all of this. So we're going through all of the pains to get that right. And, uh, and we're close. We're really close because ultimately the goal is to provide an incredible service and to help people solve their, their wellness concerns, right? And, uh, and it's no small matter. Um, mm. When people engage with Dr. Studio, they, they usually stay with us for years and years and years and develop very deep um, connections and very deep relationships. And that is because we do not have the mindset of, okay, you have a problem, we're going to solve that problem, and then we're done. Then you're, you're done. Well, you're not ever really done. And I think it's important to be transparent about that. The heavy lifting be done because we've helped you, you to understand what are the imbalances and how do you live in a way that you're supporting optimal function every day. So you might be doing just great. Uh, we were talking about wellness trajectories and uh, technical right. difficulties uh, gave us a, a in, unexpected intermission. <laughs> now we're back. You were on a solid stream of consciousness <laughs> just then, Beth telling us about the differences between insurance-based medicine and functional medicine, that mm -hmm. there's levels of difference. We talked about the requirement to tell that story, to connect with others, th right. with, with those who have a problem and are looking for a solution, the precision medicine approach. You touched yeah. on a number of really important distinguishing characteristics of functional integrative medicine. And perhaps the, the right way to crystallize all of that would be to begin with the contrast between those two and then, and then flow back this concept of a wellness trajectory. Yeah, great. Yeah, I, 
really, I think uh, where we left off was this wellness trajectory. And, and most people don't think about that. You know, wellness isn't a destination. It's a, it's a way of being. Okay. And this way of being needs to be supported on a regular basis. If you have a problem, that problem is due to some obstacle, obstacle because we overcome all of all of these obstacles and it's a constant overcoming. It's not hard. I don't make mean to say it's hard. And we serve all kinds of obstacles that when I technology, I mean, an understanding of a proper diet, um, different supportive supplements, peptides, hormones. You know, and one might ask, well, why do I need all of those things if I'm born perfect? Well, you're born perfect, but unfortunately you're. And so the truth is children today are born with thousands of chemicals surging through their blood. No, most people don't realize that. These chemicals are in the parents. These are chemicals that have been outlawed years before the parents were even born. But our planet is very toxic. And so we're being barraged by these toxins all the time. This drags down our immune system. So now we're vulnerable to bacteria and viruses and parasites and molds and fungus. And then that affects us. That creates an inflammation, creates an imbalance that you have to peel away that onion. You have to really understand how to look at what's negatively affecting your body, what's standing in the way of your optimal function. And the body has an inherent ability to heal itself if you can get what the problem is out of the way, remove the obstacle and flood the body with all of the the uh, raw material that it needs to do what it's doing. Right? That's what I, I keep in a wellness trajectory. Example, we see a lot of men with chronic prostate problems. And I, I, I love helping men with chronic prostate problems because I love helping men. And a lot of times, you know, men are cruising along, they're working, taking care of their families, trying to enjoy their life. They're engaging with an insurance based medical healthcare system. Unfortunately, there's no health in healthcare. And so, you know, they're on the right medications. They've got their blood pressure medication. They've got their cholesterol medication. They've got their gout medication, right? Whatever it is. Maybe it's uh, their blood sugar is creeping up, but there's doctors not quite concerned because they're not diabetic yet. Maybe they're pre-diabetic and everybody's just watching for them to become diabetic. So then you can, they can be on the right diabetic medication, right? It's kind of crazy. And they're friends with their doctor because their doctor's a good person. It's not about not being a bad person. It's, it's about really not having the skills or the mindset to understand is managing disease, right? So when we manage disease, we are choosing the right medication. And so this is a complete paradigm shift. So men often don't seek the care of someone like me because they're dialed in. Their doctors are managing their disease and they feel like they're good. But when they have prostate issues and these prostate issues are interfering their day, their night, their intimate, intimate uh, relationships, their, their entire uh, productivity, because they're having to go to the bathroom all the time. They have uh, uh, pain. They have incredible discomfort. It's affecting their erections. Uh, you know, it's, it's a really big problem. That drives them to me. And at that point, once they're here, we can start to unravel this mess that they are truly in but don't realize. And we can start to dig in and help them understand that everything that they are experiencing is related. The reason they have high blood pressure is related to their prostate issues. The reason they have prostate issues is related to their high blood pressure or their cholesterol or you know whatever. 
um, there are really two triggers of prob any problem. All problems, well, I have no swelling. My my aren't swollen. My shoulders aren't swollen. I have no real issues here, but they do. They have a systemic inflammation that is interfering with their optimal function, and so there are two triggers of this inflammation. One again is toxicity, and the other is infection. And so when we think about prostate health, we literally find all kinds of infection in men's prostate. We will, we do a special test where we culture the secretions from the prostate and we grow out all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, the prostate should contain zero bacteria, zero virus, viral fungus, nothing. We find it all the time. And so when you think about, well, wh why is that? <clears throat> how, how does this happen? Quite frequently, it happens because of all the toxicity that we're exposed to. And again, I mentioned earlier that the immune system then is vulnerable. It's kind of disarmed. And so, um, live if the body is in a state of compromised wellness. Okay, and, and, and so now you have a prostate that is constantly irritated because there is, there are pathogens living in there. I mean, let's face it, they're, they're eating, they're pooping, they're procreating, right? They're, they're living in your prostate. Of course you're going to have problems. So the typical traditional pharmaceutical approach is to take an oral antibiotic. Well, the problem is that doesn't work for most men. What that does is decrease the level of bacteria, antibiotic would be bacteria, decrease the level of bacteria so that the symptoms are no longer problematic. But the bacteria then are driven deeper into that prostate deeper into that sponge. They start to create calcifications. They, that's like a castle for bacteria. The same calcifications that occur in the coronary arteries, the same calcifications that, uh, that occur throughout the body. When, uh, when we do a mammogram for a woman, we're looking for microcalcifications. That's a precancerous type of condition. Well, what are in those calcifications? Bacteria, fungus, creating inflammation, creating a, a, a disease, a, an environment that's perfect then for cancer, perfect then for an autoimmune process, right? You see the connection? Most people don't realize this. So this inflammation is the reason why you have high blood pressure, you have high cholesterol, you have prostatitis, Whatever your problems are, achy joints, you know, you might think, well, I'm just getting old. Well, guess what? I take care of a lot of old people <laughs> who wouldn't be happy if I called them old, but you know, older people, they don't have inflammation. They don't have achy joints. They don't have sexual dysfunction. They get up in the morning and boom, they're ready to face the day. Why? Because they're optimized. Their function is optimized. They weren't always, but we got them to that state of wellness and now we're keeping them in that state of wellness. So I said a lot of stuff and it's really quite confusing for, for people. What you have to understand is head to toe, you are one thing. You are one thing with all kinds of different function, but it's all connected. And the way we interact with our environment, meaning food, quality of sleep, if we have all kinds of electromagnetic forces happening around us, EMFs, affecting the way our body functions. All of that's going to dictate our state of wellness. Now, certainly your genetics have something to do with it. And what that means is all of those insults on the body create an inflammation that then is going to flow down a genetic pathway, right? Makes sense. It's as though your genetics are a topography. If I pour inflammation on your topography, 
it's going to follow certain path of least resistance, right? Whatever your genetic vulnerability is. And it makes sense that there'll be a familial um, uh, connection, right? You're going to probably manifest the same diseases that your parents manifest because of that genetic uh, vulnerability. But you don't have to. If no, if you're not inflamed, you're not going to manifest these diseases, right? So I have people in my practice where every, I have one gentleman who, who just saw the other day, every single male in his family has died before the age of 50 from cardiovascular disease. He's in his mid sixties now. Every single male, he's the, he's the, uh, uh, longest living male in his family as as far back as he can see um, on his on his father's side and they all died of the same thing why because they were inflamed for various reasons so we're keeping him in an optimized state so that he doesn't manifest that family disease, right? So I, I went from talking about prostatitis to now talking about this family disease. But again, it's all related. Often men will say, well, you know, my father had this same problem. Yeah, no kidding. This is the way you're going to manifest your inflammation. Now, it's a brand new day, okay? Your, your father grew up on different food. Uh, had a very different start than you did, right? Um, it's just much more amplified. It's why all causes of disease are on the rise. It's why we have more cancer, more autoimmune disease. The five commercials that I saw during that commercial break uh, last night, two were asthma, two, which is an inflammatory process. Two were for plaque psoriasis, which is an inflammatory autoimmune process right? And one was for diabetes, and so, which again is an inflammatory process. So it's all connected. So I love seeing men with prostate issues because it finally got them to someone like me who can help them improve their entire state of wellness just by focusing on what is happening in the prostate. Hopefully that makes sense makes very, a lot of sense great the thank you for sharing that absolutely the, the image you painted of taking an antibiotic an oral antibiotic and reducing the total amount of bacteria but the ones that just reduces the symptoms that are manifesting but yep. it doesn't get rid of them it just drives them deeper into the sponge into yep. the tissue and then yep. they calcify yeah that mental image is haunting uh mm -hmm. it's pretty scary to think about that and how they build a fortress of cal of, of calcium deposit around them mm -hmm. you know my mind to how do you blast through that fortress and you get rid of those fung fungus and bacteria how do yeah. how does that even happen beth well, it's a great question the, the before i tell you the answer to that question i want to say also that the antibiotics have consequence. Now, thank goodness we have them. I, again, I, I love to have all the tools in my tools. Also destroying good, healthy bacteria. Bacteria in your gut, right? Which is where your immune system really lives. So if you have to take an antibiotic because you know, you're, you're significantly infected and there's danger in that. Okay, fine. You can restore the gut bacteria, but the, most of these men are taking one after the next, after the next, the only thing that the neurologist and primary care doctor have, that's it. Take antibiotic. That's it. They have no other, no other tools. They're not aware of any other tools. So we, we end up the gut back to gut in it's just, gut bacteria that are in close proximity to the prostate are now infiltrating the prostate, right? So it, it creates all kinds of problems. So how do we fix it? 
Well, the number one way that we fix it is you have to approach it from a couple of different directions. Number one, you have to get rid of that bacteria. So we actually inject the prostate with a customized cocktail that is addressing exactly the bacteria that we grew out of the prostate to begin with, right? So we're not just arbitrarily picking an antibiotic off the shelf and giving it to you. We're culturing the prostate secretions so we know what bacteria are we actually battling here? What's going on? What bacteria is in your prostate really helps us to identify uh, lots of things, right? Whether you have leaky gut, what, what's what's really going on? So we inject the prostate directly, a whole sponge with antibiotics, antifungals, antifungals, uh, um, sorry, antivirals, anti-inflammatories. That's one approach. So you kill the offender, but then you have to really improve the skill and the, the quality and the resilience of your army, right? You have to Im elevate your own level of wellness, get your immune system to kick back in so that it doesn't allow bacteria to set up shop in the prostate. All disease is opportunistic, okay? We're faced with bacteria and fungus all the time, but it doesn't cause an infection because if you have an intact immune system. You know, if your frontline defenses are strong, they're never going to penetrate and get in, in, you know, they're never going to find themselves deep into uh, infiltrating your, your troops, right? So you have to keep that frontline strong. So it's about improving the health of your body so there is no opportunity for continued infection or continued inflammation. So how do you do that? Again, you look at the gut. You fix the gut imbalance. You look at what food are you eating? Let's, let's eliminate, um, common food allergens. Let's eliminate processed foods and sugars that are creating imbalances. Let's find out what your immune system is reactive to so that we are only putting good things in your body. And when I say good things, I mean things, uh, foods that your body benefits from. We're all different. Genetically, we're different. So there's a diet that's going to be right for you that might not be right for me. Um, also, I may have, re I may be reacting to sit certain foods. I hesitate to call it a food allergy because people will say, I don't have any food allergies, meaning, you know, they don't get hives, they, their throat doesn't close up. What they don't understand is there's five different immune responses and you may very well be having an immune response to certain foods that you're eating where the symptom is not obvious. It may be related to your achy joints. It may be related to just a drag on your immune system, which is then allowing these bacteria and fungus to grow unchecked, right? So we peel away that onion. And again, it's not hard. We have a methodology for doing this. And we're more alike than we are different. That's a good thing. So there's a lot of common approach. Um, but so it's just a matter of the brain that through questionnaires, through labs, through imaging, through some of our specialty testing, and then addressing what we find and helping to improve your state of wellness. Most of the men we take care of, their blood pressure will improve. They'll lose some weight if they, if they need to lose weight. They'll gain some weight if they need to weight. Start to build more again, again. Start to lose. improve their energy is improved uh everything changes because again we're peeling away that onion you're getting rid of the stuff that shouldn't be there and we're supporting um the the stuff that should be there right hopefully that explains the approach and and again it's the same approach doesn't matter whether you're coming in because you have prostate issues or if you're a woman with frequent urinary tract infections. I can't tell you how many young women are taking an antibiotic every single time they have intercourse to prevent a urinary tract infection. That's because they're colonized with this bacteria and the antibiotic just keeps it at bay, right? Keeps it at bay so they don't have the symptom but they still have the problem. So we solve those problems too, quite easily actually. Um, 
or how many people have uh, constipation or diarrhea or bloating or joint stuff. Everybody's got arthritis now, lots of autoimmune processes. It doesn't matter what the issue is. We, we again, collect data, figure out what's going on with your body, start to correct these imbalances and, um, and, and your body is amazing. It, it, I, just got enough to, right? To get rid of it. Really magic, really. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. You are a wealth of insight, Beth. Well, I've this a thousand times, right? As, uh, it's incredibly frustrating to see this broken approach to health continue to grow, get bigger and bigger and more and more momentum. Uh, certainly we, we saw this with COVID, you know, we, we saw the exact wrong thing. Stay in your house, order Papa John's pizza. Don't get any sun, you know, complete opposite of really how it is that we maintain a healthy immune system. You know, we, we need each other. We can't be isolated from each other, number one. We need each other. We need fresh air. We need the sun. We need healthy food. We need community. We need all of the things that were taken away. And that really was what caused so much of our problem. Our pro so of the, the increase, the increase that uh, with humans just on who we are then it, then to to stay healthy and to to be on a wellness trajectory uh, but when we when we boil ourselves down to you know we're just machines uh, that need drugs that that need pharmaceuticals you know to uh, to treat our disease, we just can exist on this digital platform. Um, you know, it's not true. Babies die if they're not handled. Men cry and become depressed and disabled if, if they're not handled, right? If, if they're not loved, if there's no connection. I don't just mean men, uh, but you know, we, we think of these tough guys. We need each other and we need um, we, we need healthy food, healthy water, healthy connection, uh, purpose, right? So a lot of what we do is just making a real, authentic, meaningful connection with our patients. That's where the healing starts, believe it or not. And it's what's lacking most, I think, in our healthcare. There's no connection. You sit in the waiting room, you get, you know, 15 minutes with your doctor, if you're really lucky, but six minutes is the average. Your doctor doesn't really know who you are at the core. How can they? Um, so there's a lot missing that we're able to address. But it's a lot to talk about, and it's hard to hard to deliver that message in 30 seconds. So hopefully people watching um, watch long enough to, to understand that there really is something different that's incredibly impactful. And, and I think a lot of people are connecting with it because, um, functional medicine and not all practitioners are the same, right? So you, you need to find somebody you resonate with, but it's one of the fastest growing specialties because people are tired of the same old, you know, same old, just a prescription, just a, nobody's really digging very deeply. So I think people are connecting. Yeah. So if, People watching this are convinced they want to start their wellness trajectory. They want to improve their wellness trajectory and align with the methodology that you're discussing now, Beth. Yeah. How do they move forward? What do they do? Well, they, they really start to understand the power that they have. That's most important, right? We are so in control of our wellness. Do not believe the pharmaceutical companies when they tell you that you're a victim 
of diabetes or heart disease or whatever. It is just not true at all. You are in control of your wellness. So everything that you do, everything that you think, everything you put in your mouth, what you don't put in your mouth, the water that you drink, the way that you interact with your environment plays a role. So start to get to, to understand that, right? Take responsibility for that. Find a functional physician, a holistic physician, an integrative physician, find somebody who uh, talks this talk and engage. Um, you know, we have a uh, we're developing a virtual care platform called Secure Your Wellness, um, secureyourwellness.com. Uh, right now, we only have a few services available, uh, but we'll be growing that so that we can reach more people, right? Geographically, it can be a little bit difficult, but just know that Dr. Studio serves many people who most of our patients, our clients don't even live in Florida. You know, we do a lot virtually. We see them, uh, they, they fly in from time to time. If we need to do procedures, we, you know, we need to, um, have a little bit more intervention, but there's a lot of ways to, to do this remotely. Um, pharmacies that we work with, compounding pharmacies and supplement companies ship all over the country, right? So you can get access to whatever it is that you might need. Um, you know, we have health coaching, so we can really help you understand. We can do lab tests from absolutely anywhere, right? So you don't have to have a neighborhood functional provider that that you like, uh, though if you do, that's terrific. Um, you just have to engage and start taking some responsibility and understanding how powerful you really are. That's the best well, approach. Thank you for sharing. But we are expanding, like I like I said when we started this this whole conversation, uh, we are in an expansion phase uh, because people need this kind of care because we've figured this out. Um, so hopefully we'll be sweeping the nation, uh, you know, within within the next several years. Um, doc, I should I would really be remiss if I didn't mention that Dr. Studio is now part of a larger group, a larger functional medicine group filled with very, very talented practitioners uh, called Forum Health. So we are a brand of Forum Health. So Dr. Studio powered by Forum Health. If you go to forumhealth.com, you'll find other Forum Health providers. Um, secureyourwellness.com is a virtual care platform, as I'd mentioned. Drstudio.com is, uh, is, you know, this special practice that we'll see expanding. So the, um, uh, lots of ways to engage. Thank you for sharing that, Beth. Mm -hmm. You bet. It was a pleasure speaking with you today. Thanks very much, Logan. What didn't we address that you feel like we should in the next conversation? Well, I think we should really drill down into um, some of the tools that we do have in our toolbox and, and talk about the way that these tools are used, right? What I find, uh, the longer I do this, the more different I realize I am. And the more different the Dr. Studio approach is. And I, th I like to explain this by, um, really helping people to understand that the, the tools do not make the carpenter, right? The, the, uh, the, the builder, the skill of that contractor, that builder, that designer, that architect really is not dependent on the tools. The tools are what they use in their craft, right? And so how you apply these tools, when you apply these tools are really very important. And that's, that's the art. That's what I'm teaching my team. That's what I'm, I'm teaching this methodology and methodology and this approach. Uh, I get approached quite frequently by other providers who want to learn that from me. Why are we, why are we wildly successful? Um, and lots of us are. I, I don't mean to just say Dr. Studio is the only place, but we are very, very successful. Uh, there's a few different reasons. You know, one is our understanding of customer service. My team will tell you we're in the hospitality business. We just happen to practice really cool medicine, but we're in the hospitality business. We have linens on our tables. 
You know, we, we, we communicate with you in a very, very, um, connected way, right? We are at service. We are accountable. That's the other thing. And so customer service at service, this servant mindset, this servant leadership, this accountability, the authenticity, all of those things are ways that we obliterate the barriers. If there's something between us, we try to remove it, right? If there, and, and so really, uh, humility and authenticity are tools that, that we use that are very, very important. So second to those things are the tools that we use and the way that we apply them. There are a gazillion nutrients out there. Uh, if you go and you, you know, pick up a life extension magazine or you go online to some of these supplement companies, you're going to read about these supplements. Every single one of them sounds amazing because, you know, they are. But do you need every single one of them? Maybe not. And if you do need several, which ones do you need first? Right? Again, this is about peeling away that onion. You don't start in the middle. You start on the outside and you've got to peel that. So that's some of the skill. That's some of the experience. That's some of the wisdom um, that you develop as you, as you do this for 15 years, right? You try to figure it out. Um, so those are the things that I think we need to talk about. I think we need to really, um, help people understand what is available. Just one quick comment before, uh, uh, or a little quick story, I guess, before we wrap it up. I had a GI doctor come and see me once um, because we shared a few patients and that was exciting. He, I, I give him so much credit. He contacted me and said, I'd really like to come in and talk with you. I'd like to understand what it is that you do because I've been taking care of some of these patients for a long time. And now that they're seeing you, they're just miraculously better. And they had GI issues that I couldn't solve. So he came in and I showed him some of the testing that I do. And he was mind boggled. And he'd been doing this for 30 something years. He was mind boggled. Now it's, it, it, it's, it's, uh, he didn't realize that this testing is available. And he was blown away and he was open minded and he's actually started to do some of this testing, which is terrific. So data driven decisions and not just the, the same old recipe book. Oh, you've got IBS. Let's give you a medication. Oh, there's a new medication for your IBS because the old medication didn't work. Let's try this. Right. Well, how about let's figure out why you have IBS, which by the way is, um, is a syndrome right? So uh, a, a, a bowel syndrome, any kind of syndrome just simply means we don't know the cause. It's just a constellation of symptoms. When there's a constellation of symptoms, we'll call it a syndrome. And then we'll create a bunch of pharma pharmaceuticals to try to treat those symptoms. Well, that doesn't really work first of all, for everybody. Some of these medications can be real game changers for people from a symptom perspective. But guess what? You didn't fix anything and it's going to show up in a different way. And that's just what happens all the time. So he really was intrigued by, by the fact that we get the tests we need to understand the cause of the problem. Then we fix the cause and then the symptoms go away but so does the cause. So does the imbalance. So it doesn't show up in other ways. So it would be really fun, I think, to, to sort of, you know, look at the toolbox at some point, even though the tools are only part of the magic. It's really how you apply them, when you apply them, why you apply them, who do you apply them to, how you take the genetics into consideration, you really work around somebody's culture, somebody's lifestyle, how you, um, you know, uh, support them to get them on a wellness trajectory and to keep them on a wellness trajectory. So there's a lot to talk about. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm looking forward to that conversation. Terrific. We'll do that next week. Okay. Sounds great. We'll see you next week then. It was a pleasure. Thanks, Logan. I always appreciate our conversations. Me too.